MLA uses the concept of containers that contain core elements for a citation. Standard among these elements is the author and title of the source you're using. When the source being documented forms a part of a larger work, the larger work can be thought of as a container that holds the source, such as a poem, short story, or chapter in a book or anthology, an article in a journal, newspaper, or magazine, or even postings or articles on a website. Normally, to cite a journal article found in a print publication, finding the core elements in container 1 is sufficient. Because some sources are housed in an even larger container, such as a database or ebook database, a couple other citation elements from container 2 are used. In this case, the title of the database and the location come into play. The location of a work depends on the medium of publication. The location of an online work is commonly indicated by its web address or URL. When possible, cite using the DOI or Digital Object Identifier. If that's not available, use the stable link, sometimes known as a permalink. As a last resort, use the URL. View the example to see how those elements are arranged. Note the punctuation marks used.